I love being in the same time zone as NL. I do have to say, I've, I'm not trying to be braggadocious. I've visited a lot of uh, time zones in my day. There's something about Pacific time that just hits a little bit different. I think it's, it's always nice. Football starting at 10 a.m. is messed up. Well, that's just because, like, honestly, America runs on EST, which is annoying. I feel like PST gets it the worst in terms of, like, if you want to watch American TV in prime time. Your choices are you could watch The Office at 4 p.m. when you're probably still at work. Or alternatively, you can wait till 7 p.m. when everyone's already had three hours to digest the ramifications of Phyllis and Bob Vance's wedding. And neither of those appeal to me that much. That being said, I do kind of like waking up at like 5.30 a.m. And there's already like news to read. I don't really read the news, but you can like kind of catch up and see what's happened, right? Like when you go to bed on PT, you're the only people going to bed. Nothing's going on. You wake up in the morning, the UK had a chance to be like, well, you got a license for that license. Um, EU got in there, Asia got in there. Then the East Coast wakes up and they're, hey, bye, bye, sell, 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 bye, bye, sell, sell. And when you wake up, it's 520 in the morning and you're like, but the world's already, you guys have already got everything handled. I'm just going to go surfing. He's got it all figured out. Can you surf? Uh, I've never tried, so I'm going to say yes. Don't speak to me, Pylon. They should make a Peloton surfboard. It's a great idea. Should I get a Peloton? I'm 26 and don't know how to ride a bike. You should, but be careful. Um, you definitely want to make sure you start with the training wheels on. Because that could be like a grievous injury for sure. So just make sure. I mean, I don't want anybody to get hurt. I, I'm, I'm, I'm all for like evangelizing the product and the service. But we, I want to make sure that everybody's doing so in such a, in a way that's like safe for themselves, you know? Didn't someone just die on one? No, a few people got killed by the old treadmill. That was like five years ago. Would you ever get a tread? I need some competition. Honestly, I love the idea of getting a tread. I simply don't have the space for it in our house. I'd, it would have to be like an either or and I already have the bike. So that's a pretty compelling argument. But like, uh... Here's my thing with running. Running's goaded because you don't need like any equipment to do it except like a pair of shoes. So as long as you got shoes and shorts, like you're good to go, which would be very helpful when we're away. Because cycling when you're away, especially depending on where you are, can be annoying. Even on a stationary bike, like I'm used to having my shoes clip into the bike. And if they don't have the right kind of pedals for that, then I just got to put on my damn Blundstones and like, you know, settle for the worst wattage I've ever seen in my life. But when I'm away, sometimes I do run, but because I run so rarely, like all the tendons and my joints and stuff like that are not used to taking the beating that my heart and lungs can take. So during my run, I'm always like, yeah, I could go another 15 minutes. Sure, I could go another 15 minutes. And then for like the next three days, I can barely walk because all my muscles have tightened up so much because they're not used to that kind of impact. So I, it would be nice to have a treadmill, but I simply don't have the space, to be honest. That was a lot of people talk for not a lot of juice at the end of the day, but it's, it's the honest to goodness truth, brother.